Hey guys, Sandy here and welcome back to Follow a Sketch Friday. For today we are going to be using this sketch by Laura Whitaker. I will have it linked down below and also up in the corner during the process video portion. Now today I am going to be using some Chamel products. I have the Never Grow Up, um, some of the embellishments and the project pad that is sold at Joann's. So um, this week, uh, Crafty Maggie is joining me. She has joined me all through the month of May for Follow a Sketch Friday. Uh, her link will be down below as well. Let's see what I can do. Now when I originally was going to do this layout, it was for a completely different photo. Uh, and I decided that I did not like the background with that photo and what I was going to do with it, but I thought it would be awesome for this uh, layout that I was working with. Now, as you can see, um, this stencil that I'm using has some glitter glaze remnants on it, and um, that's okay. <laughs> uh, what had happened was I had used this live and forgot about it after my live and never went and cleaned it off, so it kind of dried on it. Um, now, when I redid these glitter glazes, it actually helped pull off the old glitter glaze. So that was something that was awesome. I am going to use three different ones here. I'm going to use two from Brutus Monroe. Uh, one is Granny Smith, uh, one is Mermaid Scales, and then one is this Stickles one that I have, and the Stickles is called Supernova. Now, the Stickles one kind of faked me out. They wrapped it twice in plastic. They really didn't want me getting into that glitter, um, and that was a problem. So we went ahead and pulled that off. So I have a Starbucks cup that I just purchased. Um, our Starbucks is not open in our store, but, you know, the release happened, and people were buying the cups. And it's kind of like this um, sparkle cup. It's not like super glitter, glittery, but it does have uh, like a sparkle to it. And it goes from blue to green. Uh, so I was definitely feeling inspired by that combination. Uh, plus I thought that these blues and greens would be uh, an awesome, awesome complement to the Never Grow Up collection. So I am taking the blue, I am just using my one little spatula here that I only used for glitter. As you can see, it's got remnants and stuff on it as well. Um, I just wipe it off, put it in a little holder, and I always use this spatula when I am messing with glitter. Um, and that is because the glitter doesn't always completely come off. And I would rather just have one instead of a whole collection of palettes that I really can't use with other things because glitter is stuck to them. Because let's face it, the glitter will like come off. It, it will eventually rub off. And if a little glitter rubs off into another glitter project, I'm good. But if I was, say I was using like a velveteen or glaze or something like that, and it has no sparkle, no shine, no shimmer, um, I wouldn't want that to happen. So I grabbed the Granny Smith. And fun fact about this bad boy, it actually smells like apples. It has that apple-y scent to it. It is, it is wild. It is, um, it's wild. I'm going to open it up right now. Yeah, man, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It is super weird to open up a scrapbooking product and it smells like, like an apple teeny. I don't know. So I do that um, on the bottom third, and then I take the Stickles uh, glitter gel, and I'm going to kind of meld that into uh, the very bottom third. So there is just an ever so slight uh, bit of mixing where the different uh, glitter mediums meet up, and that is, that is fine. I did not want like stark lines. You still have lines, but they're not like, this is a stark, stark line. So this is my favorite part. <gasps> Yay! You pull for the reveal. Now this is a thin sheet of paper from the project pad. So I did have some, um, some of my glazes went underneath of the stencil and it was very wet. So I just set that aside to dry. It took a long time to dry, longer than normal, uh, which was a little bit frustrating, but that's okay. 
So I decide that what I'm going to do is pull another piece of paper from the project pad and I'm going to do this big kind of gritty, um, not gritty, but gritty um, paper. And then I'm going to trim down um, this piece of paper right here where I had the glitter. And you can kind of see uh, the variations in color from blue to green to like the goldy color. And I, I love this, you guys. Like I absolutely, absolutely. I love me some glitter backgrounds and I think that even if you were not a fan of the glitter background or maybe you loved a glitter background but you didn't want to create it yourself you could use like a glitter stock um, something like that um, you don't have to do that part to uh, make this layout now I am pulling out my 6x8 pad and it is still called a journaling pad um, but there is a whole lot less in here of lines to journal with. Some of it is just patterned paper. And that works for me. Um, I know it is a little bit weird. I'm using these marbles here for the color. I'm not really using them for the theme. And then I know that I'm going to be using this Never Grow Up um, cut apart as well. Yeah, I have no idea. I was using that trimmer and then the trimmer blade just disappeared and I don't know where the trimmer blade went to. Like, I really have no idea. It's probably around here in this room somewhere, but honestly, guys, like, I, I have no idea where the trimmer blade got to. It kind of just poofed. So I am following the sketch. Um, I'm, I'm following the sketch, but I'm not following the sketch. I'm still gonna have the, the cluster of three. But my photo is going a different direction and I'm kind of layering them up a little bit differently. And that's just because this is the photo I want it to work with and I am just making it work with the sketch. Uh, I think sometimes um, sketches are a great tool for us to um, like get a starting off point or you know when you're just like I don't know what to make I need I need to copy something. Um, and then other times sketches are great for when you just want a general idea. And this was more, this was, this is kind of like a, a, a combo between copying and a general idea. Because I, I make it my own a little bit. I am going to mat that never grow up um, ever so slightly uh, on a different color background. And that is just because I didn't want it to... I didn't want the white on white when I was putting this card here. Yes, I know I completely covered up the very cute doggy. I'm okay with that. I'm using the, the papers the way I need to use them. So that makes me happy. Now I did decide I was going to use the Never Grow Up uh, washi tape as well. And one of my favorite things to do with washi tape besides doing a stacked uh, washi layout is to place it on a white or colored sheet of cardstock and give the washi tape a little bit more rigidity. Um, because the washi tape over top of my glitter, um, it would have been lumpy and bumpy and it would have looked like a road that was just full of potholes and I did not want that to happen. So I am actually going to kind of um, break up the green and the blue uh, glitter where they meet. I do have ever so slight amounts of green glitter poking above where the washi tape is, but I think my embellishment actually covers that up. I'm okay with that. It's I don't feel like you know I've made a huge mistake or anything like that. I'm okay with covering up the join. I'm also okay with covering up as much of the glitter as I have covered up. Um, some of you might be looking at this and going, wow, girl, you have wasted a ton of glitter. Um, and, you know, if in one way you could look at it that way, um, but I don't think that there's ever going to be a glitter shortage um, or a glitter glaze, a glitter paste. There are uh, plenty of places that sell them. So even if someone stops selling them, um, I can find them somewhere else. Um, plus, I have enough uh, glitter pastes and glazes and glimmer pastes and glimmer glazes and whatever glitz gels like whatever the companies are calling their their glitter um, I have plenty you guys like it's it's a thing it, it fills one of the top um, shelves of a little rolly rack thing that I have so I'm not really concerned 
Now I am going to take these um, flowers and I'm just creating some embellishment over top of the, the line of washi that I have here. And it's just a matter of picking which colors and where I want them to go. Um, some of the florals I am popping up on foam squares. Uh, some of them I are, I are, I am leaving flat. Now I really did like this little piece right here with the little um, bulby looking things on them off of the greenery. So I put that in there as well. I just really liked it. I just thought it was a fun die cut. Now I do know that I am going to put some journaling in that white space, um, but I wanted to grab some of these epoxy flares from Scrap and Happy Studio. Um, I end up just using one and I used the one uh, that had yellow and pink on it because I felt like I had a lot of yellow on the right hand side of the page, like it's in the die cut, you see it in the washi, and then with the die cuts and the little bit of washi that's showing on the left, I just felt like there wasn't enough yellow. Um, so I just put, I chose that flare badge for that specific reason. I nestled it under the flower and then um, I figured I needed a little something else going on up here. Um, in the sketch, it looks like it's um, a sketchy circle. So it could be uh, die cuts, you could do stitching, all kinds of things. Um, but I felt like I needed a little something extra. So I just grabbed a white doily and I'm not showing a lot of the doily. It's just a little bit. Now, also in that sketch, you'll see that banner that is coming down underneath of the photo. I decide not to add the banner. Um, just for a couple reasons. One, I really like the composition of the sketch the way it is. I didn't feel like it was out of balance. I didn't feel like I needed to add um, any extra things to make it feel balanced. Um, and then second, I didn't want to cover up the glitter right there. Like I covered up enough of it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I covered up enough. I'm fine with what I've covered up, but I don't want to cover up more. I want you to see it. So that is what I did there. Now these are very thin stickers that came in the project pad and I'm just choosing all the green ones uh, to spell out Disney and then I'm moving around these little stars that I had placed down as well. Um, I decided to put another sticker on that discover fit perfectly between the dot on the eye and the flower. Um, since these are such thin stickers, I am going to pop them up on some foam squares. So the title is Discover Disney, and then I guess a subtitle, uh, here we go, and then another subtitle is Never Grow Up. So I do tend to decorate with words, um, I would say fairly often. And honestly, you could pick any combination of these words and think that was the title and I would be okay with it. I don't care what you what what you think my title is. I don't care if you don't think there is a title at all. Like that doesn't, woo, spider, we're gonna kill that bad boy. Okay. Sorry guys, you just heard me. Um, slam spider. Okay, here it is guys. Thank you so much. That's, oh man, that's so terrible. This is like a bug collection and I just killed a bug. Okay, well I guess it's not technically a bug. Anyway, I will stop my rambling. Thanks so much for joining me. Make sure that you check out Crafty Maggie's link down below and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.